Life doesn't give you bumpers. We have a new student joining us today. Hey, dude. Welcome to the suck. So Mom. Haven't you been drinking? A little bit. Oh. Hey. What do you want to be, Mason? What do you want to do? Poor Michael Apted. The guy spends like 40 plus years doing the exact same thing that Richard Linklater has done for a mere 12, and yet Linklater walks away with all the glory and all the attention because his is a film well, Aptids has been an ongoing television series in the UK, uh, before UK television was super popular here in the United States. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the Up series, uh, which I've actually never watched, and maybe I should get on that if I'm at all intrigued by this uh, Boyhood trailer, which I am to some degree, uh, but the problem I have with it is that it is fictional. But the great thing about Up is that it's a real documentary actually following these people's lives, these children, who uh, were, have been, were introduced in a documentary in 1964 when they were seven years old and revisited every seven years to see what they have uh, been up to and how they've grown up as uh, physically and emotionally and just in society. Uh, and it's run every, uh, every seven years, as I said, Michael Apted came on board with the second entry in 1970. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, yes, it's been, so every seven years, started off with uh, seven, then 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and then 56, which aired in 2012. Uh, and so I think that to me sounds much more interesting than a, a fictional uh, situation where the only real benefit that Linklater is getting is that he's giving you a realistic uh, depiction of how people age. Often Hollywood will, you know, cast the ideal person for every age and they kind of really fail to capture, you know, the growing pains of, you know, when you grow up and those awkward moments that are important and help make you who you are. Uh, so I think that the, the most interesting things going on here for Linklater's film are behind the camera. Uh, the commitment that this actor from six uh, for the next 12 years onward would decide to be in a fictional film, uh, you know, and would be a good actor. I mean, being a child actor is a totally different skill set than being a good adult actor. We've seen countless child actors not be able to make the transition. And here you get to watch someone make the literal life transition uh, in terms of their craft. So I think there's some, some thing to be seen there. And also, I think, you know, not a big deal is made of it, but Ethan Hawke and Patricia Arquette also committed 12 years of their lives to making this movie. And I think to see them age as well is also fascinating. Uh, but, you know, since it's since it's fictional, uh, you know, I saw one of the greatest things about Before Midnight, a film that I didn't love, but that was also a Richard Linklater, Ethan Hawke film, and they had a wonderful um, depiction of a father and son relationship there at the beginning of the movie. It was almost like I think it was like one long take, and it was this great. Um, dynamic between Ethan Hawke and the actor playing his child. And that was just as compelling as I'm sure anything that could be done here. Uh, and it just underscores that uh, for good fictional work, uh, you know, casting the same actor isn't necessarily going to be your uh, the thing that nail, nails it. It's just good acting and good writing. And uh, this gimmick is just a gimmick that's layered on top of that. So I much would have preferred this to be a documentary in the vein of what Michael Apted did, but I guess Michael Apted already has done it, along with his partner here, Paul Almond, uh, or who Paul Almond at least started it, so he should get credit where credit is due. But I think that uh, it's just fascinating to me that Linklater uh, is getting a lot of attention because his is a current film. Uh, and it almost makes me wish that Apted would consider cutting
cutting, you know, maybe a film version, uh, you know, that you can watch in one sitting that shows the, the span of time uh, to maybe reintroduce audiences to, to what he's done. Because I think that seems to me much more interesting than this film. Uh, but so I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, you know, beyond the gimmick, is this something that you think that you'd want to pay to see? And do you see the benefit to the film? I mean, remember, people make these kind of videos on YouTube right here all the time where they film their child or take a photo of their child every year at their birthday or every day for the first couple of years of their life, edit all together, and you can literally see the person grow up. I've even seen adults do it with different, you can see their different haircuts, etc., themselves for a year. Uh, I mean, it's not a new idea. And I think applying it to a narrative, uh, a fictional work, is you know, again, just another gimmick. I don't think it builds on the idea or adds any extra depth to it. Uh, so, but again, you know, it gets getting Linklater a lot of attention and uh, before midnight, he, I don't know how much longer that franchise can go on. They made three films out of it uh, and I think it's time for him to maybe do something else. He did make a major time commitment here, so I guess we should see what he came up with, but I think credit should be given to Almond and Apted for coming up with this idea and, in my opinion, uh, making, utilizing it better, making it more than a gimmick. Uh, actually showing you how these people grew up for real, which is the most honest look at growing up that you could have instead of, you know, word, lines that were written, uh, you know, while they might have filmed this over a 12-year span, I assume that it was all written at one sitting. Uh, it wasn't inspired by, you know, the, the way the kid actually grew up or that should have been conveyed in the trailer. But anyway, uh, again, to me this reads like a gimmick film. We'll see how far the gimmick can carry uh, link ladder though, and if Apted ever gets a shout out. All right, so that's my review of Boyhood, uh, this new trailer. Thank you so much for those who asked for me to review it. Uh, write down below what you think of the trailer, and you can check out some more episodes right now.